Cleaners Mentor Consulting proudly presents another information specific video in our steam trap maintenance series. This video is specific to the Armstrong style trap commonly found and used throughout the United States. The tools required to access the interior of this trap will be a 7 16 inch, a half inch, and a 9 16 inch box end ring. A hammer with a striking tool can help loosen corroded bolts. It is highly recommended that a replacement gasket or a means of making a gasket are on hand before removing the top. Warning! Never loosen any part of the trap unless the steam is shut off and the trap is not pressurized. This is an inverted bucket trap. Pictured is the Armstrong inverted bucket trap. One without a strainer and the other with a built-in strainer. The trap is made up of a cast iron body, a cast iron top, and a stainless steel valve and bucket assembly. Here is a cutaway showing the passages through the interior of the trap. This design attaches the top to the body with six bolts. The quarter inch bolt use a square nut making removal a one wrench task. This plug allows access to the valve orifice. This is the low pressure side of the trap. Warning. Do not attempt any action presented in this video while the steam system to the trap is pressurized. This design allows simple replacement of the bolts if one were to break or become damaged due to corrosion. The plug should be removed before removing the top. Before attempting to loosen the bolts, each bolt and the plug should be jarred with a hammer and punch to make removal easier. First, the vent plug will be removed. This plug should be removed, Teflon tape applied, and reinstalled when the trap is first placed into service. This makes removal easier later. Before removing the bolts, loosen the bond between the gasket and the metal surfaces by tapping on the edge of the top in a sideways motion. With all the bolts now removed, carefully lift the top while maneuvering it to free the bucket assembly from the body. Looking on the outlet side of the body, examine the opening. There should be no mineral buildup or other material that might restrict the flow. Carefully unhook the bucket. Now, remove the valve lever from the hinge pins. The ball-shaped projection on the lever is the active portion of the valve. The seat portion screws into the top. Slide the lever back onto the hinge pins and confirm the ball and seat alignment. Now, inspect the bucket, making sure it is free from damage or wear. Ensure that the small opening in the top is free of any blockage. Now, closely examine the ball, looking for signs of pitting or wear. To make removing the seat and the hinge bracket screws easier, invert the top and bolt it to the body using one bolt. With the top secured to the body, the hinge bracket's two screws are now removed. Then remove the seat. Remove the seat and verify the condition of the threads, the ceiling flare, and the open passage through the orifice. This seat forms a seal to the top with the flare formed on the bottom of the seat.
Closely inspect the orifice for pitting or wear. This is the area the ball contacts the seat. This is a repair kit that converts the valve to a straight hinge design. For this demonstration, the less expensive replacement will be installed. Verify the direction of the bracket to ensure it's proper. Install the two screws and tighten securely. The application of Teflon pipe tape will ensure the seat is easy to remove in the future. As the new bracket hinge is assembled, always verify the movement and alignment of the ball and seat. Before reassembling the trap, clean the interior of all debris. Teflon tape should be applied to the strainer and the plug to ensure easy removal. The gasket should be inspected for condition and replaced if there is any sign of damage. If the seat and ball of the valve are free of wear, they can be reinstalled. The bucket assembly is reinstalled on the top. Pay close attention to the hinge and the alignment of the seat and ball. The bolts holding the top should be tightened in a cross pattern. They should be hand tightened first, followed in increasing torque evenly with multiple passes. Questions or need parts? Contact Cleaners Mentor Consulting 205-458-7000.